Someone opened fire in the lobby of a Plymouth movie theater. The bullets missing people by just inches. It was just before nine o'clock last night when Plymouth police say a young man walked into the Imagine Willow Creek movie theater and fired off at least two rounds. After firing those two shots, police say the suspect ran. Our Marielle Moe shares the stories of people who were inside when the shooting started. The movies are supposed to be like the safe kind of thing to do, especially as a family. Melinda and her family were in line to buy their ticket to the premiere of the horror movie Halloween Kills, when suddenly a real horror unfolded in the theater lobby. When I looked back, no words were said. He just pulled the gun out. He fired one almost like above everyone, kind of like a warning shot. And that's when everyone just scattered and took off running. And then it was like almost in slow motion, you know, he aimed the, the gun towards the crowd and shot again. Melinda said the shooter fired at a group of teenagers. Seeing the guy just aim the gun at the crowd, I was like, oh my God, one of these kids are, are going to get shot. And by the grace of God, he missed everyone. Melinda is shocked no one was hurt, but when she saw the bullet hole afterwards, she knew it was a close call for her. The bullet hole was like four inches from where I was standing. I don't think we'll be going there ever again. Katrina Loera was about two minutes into the beginning of a movie when the screen went blank and police rushed in to usher her and a friend out of the theater. She's still in disbelief over how close she was to an active shooter and the fact that no one was hurt or killed. We all got extremely lucky and it just it wasn't our time and I hope that everyone who was there with me in that theater it's an eye opener that maybe we it, life is too short and we should just live it to our full potential. In Plymouth, Marielle Mose, WCCO 4 News. Plymouth police have not made any arrests, but police say they've spoken with witnesses who told them they know who the shooter is, and that's giving their hope, them hope in their investigation.